Hi everyone, I'm Alaya Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Hot 100, and today we're gonna break down I Like Me Better by Love. Sounds like this. Alright, what we're going to focus on in this first part is the intro and the first verse for the song. We play in the key of A major and we start off by playing this little melody line. We're going to learn later in the lesson that this melody line is one part of the main riff we're going to use for the chorus. So we start off on A with our thumb on our right hand, then we're going to jump up on E with our fifth finger, and then again back on A, playing it twice. And then play the note right below A, so G sharp or A flat, with our second finger, and also I'm going to play it twice. And then from here play a grace note from C sharp to D, Right, like this, with my third and fourth finger. Then I'm going to go down, play C sharp, B, and finally A. One more time. So that's our entering melody line in the song. Next up, we're going to play this. All right, so what right after that movement from D to A? All right, uh, we played my movement from A to E. All right, so one A, jump up to E, then double A. And on the first A, I played with my left hand A and E. So I played this movement on A major. Next, I'm on E major, and I played double G sharp. This time with my third finger, and on the second G sharp, that's when I added E major on its second inversion, by the way. So that's the basic position. First inversion, and now second inversion. So on the second G sharp on your right hand, that's when you're going to play your E on your left hand. And then you're going to quickly play one A and one F sharp. So once again, A and F sharp. Next we have this. All right, so I played D major on its second version too, so one whole step below E major. And on my right hand, I simply played the pattern from A to E, and then back to A, playing it twice. All right, I played that two times.
You can also notice that on my last A, instead of doubling it with my thumb, I switch and play it with my fifth finger to better play my first chord on the first verse. That's so now I'm in perfect position to play the first verse, the first chord of the first verse. Okay, so that's the intro. Now from the top, you have the melody line. And then what right after that? You have A major, then E major, played on the second G sharp on your right hand. One, two, and then the movement from A to E. Played twice on D major. So let's replay that. time. Okay, now we're on the verse, and for the first verse we only have four chords. Okay, the first one is A major. Played with only three notes, A and E on my left hand, and the major third on my right hand, so C sharp. Next we have E sus4. That's E, B and E again on my left hand, then the four of E, so A, played on my thumb. Then after that I have D major. So my right hand didn't move. And then from here I'm going to jump up on the 6th chord and play F sharp minor. That's F sharp, C sharp and F sharp on my left hand. Again, A on my right. Then go down on E sus4. And D major. So that's the progression we're going to use for the first verse and we're gonna simply repeat it. Alright, so from the top you have A major, E sus4, going to D major, then F sharp minor, E sus4, and then D major again. Alright, we're going to play it twice to complete the first verse. Now, rhythmically speaking, I'm going to play my A major on the first beat of the measure, and on that same measure, on the end of the third beat, that's when I'm going to play my E sus4, right, like this. One, two, three, and four. Then from here, play D major for one measure. And then on to F sharp minor, just like we did for A major and E sus4, I'm going to play my F sharp on the first beat of the measure, and on the third beat, on the end of the third beat, that's when I'll play my E sus4, and following that, play D for one measure. So from the top, 
That's the rhythmic pad. Alright, now we're ready to recap everything from the intro. One, two, three, four. Time for the verse. Okay, let's replay it now at full speed. That will be it for this first part. If you want to learn the rest of the song, you can head over to musicgreatness.com. As always guys, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another YouTube.